Hello everyone, it's Rek here and in this video I'm going to show you guys the best NVIDIA control panel settings to boost FPS, reduce input latency and improve the overall performance of your graphics card as well as improving the visuals. We are going to make sure that everything is set up correctly and optimize our NVIDIA graphics card for the perfect balance of performance and visual quality with inside of the games. There have been tons of new updates since my last video and with these new updates many brand new settings, features and bug fixes were added. If you guys want to get the best performance possible out of your graphics card then make sure to follow all of these steps inside of this video also if you guys have any questions or any suggestions regarding this video then make sure to leave them in the comment section down below i always try my best to get back to each and every one of you guys you guys know that making these videos really takes a lot of time and effort and it will only take you guys 2 seconds to like the video. It will really mean a lot to me and also if you guys are new here then make sure to hit that subscribe button along with the post notification so you don't miss out on any of the brand new optimization guides whenever I upload them. So with all of that out of the way, let's get this video started. We are going to be starting off by of course updating our graphics drivers and I'm going to be showing you guys the correct way to update your graphics card drivers. So in order to update your NVIDIA graphics drivers head down into the description of this video and click on the link for the NVIDIA GPU drivers. You will be brought to this page and all you guys need to do is just select your product, put your graphics card details inside of here and then click on search. But there is one thing that you guys want to keep in mind that is the windows driver type here. Now some of you guys might be using the standard version and some of you guys might be using the DCH version. It's recommended that you guys download the drivers that you are already using. For example if you are using standard drivers then download the standard ones otherwise download the DCH version. So how you guys can check that? It's really simple. Head down to your desktop and open up the NVIDIA control panel. Once the NVIDIA control panel opens up, just head down to system information and inside of here you can find the driver type. For me it's DCH, so I'm going to be downloading the DCH version. If it says standard, then you guys want to download the standard version. Once you guys see that, you can hit close and close out of this. Go back to the website and select your driver type, then click on search. And then a list of game ready drivers will be presented to you. Now for the version of driver which I recommend the most that is 456.55 released on September 28th 2020. A lot of people recommend using the 441.41 which is also a really good driver which you can see right here. It was released on November 26, 2019. So you can use that one as well but the one that I highly recommend is the 456.55. It has been tested by many gamers and a lot of YouTubers as well. It's very stable and it also has new features such as the Nvidia Reflex and all that. So yeah just go ahead and click on the 456.55 version and hit download then go ahead and simply use the wizard to install it will guide you it's really simple and easy make sure that you perform a clean install and after that you should be good to go so now that you guys have updated your graphics drivers it's time for me to show you guys the best nvidia control panel settings in order to boost your pc performance so go ahead and open up the nvidia control panel and once it opens up we are going to be starting with the 3d settings and clicking on adjust image settings with preview make sure that use the advanced 3d image settings is checked and then click on take me there once you guys are here this is the most important tab inside of this whole control panel so i'm going to be going over each of the settings one by one showing you guys which is the best option to choose so for the image sharpening go ahead and set it to off it can cause screen tearing for some people so i highly recommend you guys to go ahead and set it to off hit ok and for the ambient occlusion make sure that this is turned off anastropic filtering set it to off as well and tlsing fxaa make sure that this is turned off as well and tlsing gamma correction this is turned off as well and for the ntlsing mode make sure that this one is off then if you guys have these settings the ntlsing setting and transparency then make sure that these are set to none and off as well but for most of the people they will be blurred off for the cuda gpus go ahead and drop it down and make sure that your graphics card is selected then hit ok and for the dsr factors just simply go ahead and set it to off for the low latency mode now this is a tricky one for a lot of people on works the best i don't recommend using ultra but for most of the people on will work the best and for others it might not work as good for example for me low latency mode turned off works better than low latency mode turned on also you can just go ahead and set it to off and use the nvidia low reflex mode in game which is going to override this setting anyways so just go ahead and set it to off then for the max frame rate this is basically going to cap your fps so you can go ahead and do that if you want to but i recommend turning it off 
For the OpenGL rendering GPU, once again, make sure that your graphics card is selected. And for the optimize for compute performance, turn this one off. A lot of people have set this on for unknown reasons, but I recommend that you guys go ahead and set it to off. Then for the power management mode, this is another one of the really important settings inside of here. Make sure that it is always set to prefer maximum performance. We don't want to save power, we want the maximum performance out of our GPU. So go ahead and set it to prefer maximum performance. As for the shader cache, so this is another option that can cause uh, FPS drops if set to on. But for most of the people, it will work just fine. So just go ahead and test it on both on and off and see if you guys get consistent FPS in the games that you want to play. For me, I have set it to on, but you can set it to off as well. For the texture filtering and astropic sample option, set it to on as well. It's off by default, but just go ahead and set it to on. For the texture filtering negative load bias, make sure that this is set to allow. And then for the texture filtering quality, this is another one of the important options inside of here. Make sure that this is set to high performance. Then for the texture filtering trilinear optimizations, make sure that this one is set to on. Threaded optimization, set it to on as well. A lot of people have set it to auto but I recommend setting it to on or off if you do not want the threaded optimization. So just go ahead and set it to on. For the triple buffering, set this one to off and vertical sync, everyone knows that it causes huge input delay so just go ahead and set it to off. Virtual reality pre-rendered frames, this doesn't really matter but go ahead and set its value to 1. Then make sure that you guys hit the apply button so that all of these changes are applied perfectly. Once all of these changes are applied, go to the config surround phys x and inside of here just set the processor to auto select, it really doesn't matter, this is not a really useful thing to do anyway. Then under the display, change resolution. Now for this one, make sure that you are using the native resolution of your display and you have the maximum refresh rate selected. A lot of people who have like 144Hz or 240Hz monitor and even 360Hz monitor at this point can go ahead and set the refresh rate value from inside of here to get the maximum advantage of their refresh rate. So just go ahead and make sure that your refresh rate is set up correctly, hit apply and then go to the adjust desktop color settings and inside of here i recommend using the nvidia settings just to give you guys a bit more vibrance and a bit more pop up in the colors and this can actually really improve the graphics of games such as fortnite which are more vibrant colors so for me the only thing that i change inside of here is the digital vibrance by default it's set to 50 percent but i like it to set it around 70 percent so just go ahead and set it to whatever you like hit apply and then hit yes again then moving on to rotate display for this one i don't recommend changing anything unless you have a second monitor that you want to be in portrait mode so just uh, so you can go ahead and do that from here but we are not going to be doing that we are going to be going to the setup digital audio this one is another one that we want to skip so go to adjust desktop size and position now inside of this one, there are actually some important settings that you want to change. First off, for the scaling, make sure that it's set to full screen and the perform scaling on is set to display. If you don't, if you guys don't have the display option, that means that your monitor doesn't support the perform scaling on display. So set it to GPU, but if you guys have the display option, make sure that this is set to display. And then you can just go ahead and hit apply. You guys don't have to change any of the other things, hit yes and then there are set up multiple displays which we are not going to be messing with. Under the video tab, adjust video color settings, just go ahead and use the NVIDIA settings, go to the advanced and set the dynamic range to full. Then for the adjust video image settings, I do not recommend changing anything inside of here as well. Then after all of the changes have been applied, you can go ahead and close out of the NVIDIA control panel. You don't need to restart or do anything. Now you can go ahead and enjoy your game. So those were all of the usual NVIDIA settings inside of this video. I really hope that this video helped each and every one of you guys. And if it did, then make sure to leave a like down below. And also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and don't want to miss out on any of the brand new optimization guides whenever I upload them. If you guys are still watching, you guys are true legends because most of the people have already clicked off of the video. If you guys are still watching, then make sure to leave a sweet comment down below. 
with hashtag nvidia user for a shout out in the next video also if you guys want more details on the optimizations then make sure to join my discord server i constantly update nvidia and amd optimizations inside of there so make sure to join the discord server the link can be found in the description now i'm going to be rolling the shout outs for the previous video but before that keep in mind that you are awesome you're the best at what you do and you always have the potential to improve so with that i guess that's it for this video i'll see you guys in the next one until then stay awesome